with y'all. So I am out here going to clean up this garden of mine. It is looking horrible. Um, yeah, let me turn you guys around and show you what I got to work with and clean up. So yeah, I have this bed right here that I got to get situated. I got to take all of this out. I got to rake up all the yards. I got a few stuff still growing. I have my kale right there growing. I think those were collard greens that I have growing. I don't remember. And I can't remember what I planted right here, y'all. I thought I planted like some chives or something. I don't know, some celery, but I don't know. And I don't remember what this is. I got to get rid of this. I basically got to rake up these leaves. I don't remember what I planted there. Um, right here. I don't remember, y'all. Tell me what this is because I didn't put in any um, plant. Um, what it is, a little plant stakes. So I have no idea what it is. I don't. I don't know. If, I know I thought I planted some squash. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started.
right, y'all. So I am going to, I purchased this little Chef Gardens, um, she is Chef Garden, little thing a while back. So you saw me earlier out there in the garden and I have to go back out there. But taking a break right now, I'm going to, I think this contains some basil, tomatoes, and peppers. So it says easy to do, fun to grow, it's a complete kit. It contains the three pots and the saucers, the seeds, and the seed star wafers. So, and you can start these inside or, you know, on your windowsill. I have grow lights, but the temperature is starting to warm up, so, yeah, I'm not going to need to put them under the light. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take everything out. So, these are the pots. Okay, you get three little pots. Uh oh. You get three little pots. You get the little saucers. Okay, cool. All right, that's not bad. You get three little saucers. These right here are the, um, what do you call them? the uh, pellets where you put these in water and they expand so you have that um i guess this is like the plant instructions what else did i take the seeds out i don't even know oh no the seeds are in here let's see what is this oh that was good for the pots all right and we have a seed. So we have some Floridade, <laughs> some Floridade tomatoes. Looks like we have some California Wonder sweet peppers, which I've grown those before. California sweet peppers. And we have some jalapeno hot peppers. I've never grown hot peppers, so this should be interesting. Um, and yeah, it just shows you the little advertisement. So I am going to go ahead. Yeah, that came off easy. Let's see. All right. I was able to open it. So as I said, this is what the pellet looks like. And once you put this in water, um, it expands and then on the pot you can see right there it has the little hole for the drainage and then it has just a little saucer right here where you just put that in so what am i going to do i will be um but i'm going to go ahead and put these in the saucers and put a little bit of water um in them and then I will be back to show you what it looks like. All right, guys. So I have the pellet. Well, I have the pot right here and I have a little pellet. Like I said, I've had these for a couple of months. So I hope this is still good. If not, I have some soil. So I decided to just bring you guys over here and show you how it works. What you would do. Hopefully you can see that. Is you would wet it. Is it gonna? Yeah. Well, it's kind of, let me put it on the saucer. Or you know what, just one second guys. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do because I can clean this. I'm gonna put that pellet right in there. Well, as you can see, it now started already, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put the pellet in here. And then put water and it's supposed to see that it's supposed to kind of expand but it's expanding see how it's supposed to break up and expand with the water and it just soaks up the water So then I just 
stick that back in there. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Hopefully you can see that. And then we just put that back in there. Put the soil right back in here. Uh oh. Make sure that it is all wet and moist. And that is going to be our seed starter. And yeah, you just fluff it up. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other two off camera and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I have all three of them done. Make sure you can see. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, put the seeds in. So I'm going to put two seeds in each one. They're small, so I'm not going to put more than two. Um, and, hmm, maybe I should do three. Let's see how, let's see what the seeds look like. So the first one that I'm going to do is the jalapeno hot peppers. Let's see here. All right, and some people use, um, so that is what the seeds look like for the jalapeno hot peppers. So, some people use a pencil. Since this is so small, I'm just going to use um, a toothpick. So, I'm going to put, I'm going to do three. Uh-oh, well, that didn't fall in there, but. That's one. Two. And three. And then I have these other seeds to plant out in the garden. So yeah. And then what you do is you just cover them. About a half an inch below. And let me get my sprayer. Alright y'all, so I have my sprayer. And then what you just do is you just moisten the top. Uh oh, let me make sure you guys can, uh oh. Make sure you guys can see that. And then you, this isn't my normal sprayer, but yeah. You just moisten the top. And it should be moistened, and there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. So we're going to do the California Wonder Peppers. And then we're going to do the Florida tomatoes. I've never, oh, okay, I had two. Oh, y'all didn't tell me it was stuck together. And then we had some sweet basil. So I only have three pots, so, hmm, that's the hot peppers. So how about we just do the sweet basil and the tomato? That's what the uh, sweet bays look like. And I can just scatter this on top. I can use this whole packet. This is what I'm going to do. Let's get a little bit of this and just sprinkle it on top. Then we're gonna spray the top of this one. Gonna set that one to the side. Let me just put that right there so I know what I did. 
And then we're gonna do the tomato. So that's what the tomatoes look like. And we're just gonna put two for the tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the windowsill. I may just set them outside on the windowsill since it's warm outside. Um, and we will see how it goes. But first I need to get my plant labels and label them so I'll know what I have. And yeah, I will check back in with you guys. <laughs> 